Welcome back guys to another exciting reaction. Today I'm going to be reacting to the White House knows exactly where the cocaine came from. This is by Charlie Hart. Does the White House know the exact place where the cocaine came from? Let's find out. Here with reaction, Fox News contributor Charlie Hurt and OutKick founder Clay Travis. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Charlie, let's start with you. You see this endless loop of all the Biden, they call them gaffes, I call them lies. Uh, that plus I think a pretty rough week for Joe Biden. He's losing to Trump in the polls. He's down uh, by seven in the swing states. He's got some big SCOTUS decisions piling up against him. Obviously, a lot of family drama going on, cocaine at the White House. What's your read? Yeah, but, you know, all along uh, he has had the press on his side. And I, I, I won't hold my breath uh, that, that that's going to change anytime soon. Uh, although I do think that that story this weekend by the New York Times talking about the fact that he is a deadbeat granddad and his son is a deadbeat dad who uh, won't even acknowledge. Uh, I can't even fathom it, quite frankly. Can you imagine having a grandchild that you don't even want to meet, that you don't want to see, you don't want to pick up, you don't want to know? It's, uh, you know, th th aside from the, the moral uh, uh, appalling nature of all of this. Um, but, uh, I, like I said, I, I, I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, as long as, as Joe Biden has the press behind him and the press working for him, working to cover for him and working to attack his enemies, he's going to be able to, to stand and fight. Hey, Clay, there's no question that Charlie's right about that, the press protecting Biden. But it sounds like even the Democratic voters are starting to pull away from Joe Biden. Up to a third of the primary voters are supporting RFK Jr., Marion Williamson, none of the above. So I think his presidency is starting to fray. But when you think about the granddaughter in Arkansas particularly, and it is his granddaughter no matter what spin and lie he puts on it, uh, what are they communicating to the public, these swing voters who said, I want somebody who's going to unify and get rid of the drama, be a family values president, and here we are. Kellyanne, you worked for President Trump. Can you imagine if he had had a four-year-old granddaughter that he refused to acknowledge and even didn't count? I mean, that, that's cruel in a level that I don't know we have seen in a modern era, to refuse to acknowledge that you have a granddaughter, to say you have six grandchildren instead of seven. Can you imagine if one of the Trump sons had been illegally profiting off of foreign relationships making tens of millions of dollars, not paying tax on it, had been a drug mm. addict, there had been cocaine found in the White House, and the White House, I saw this analogy, Kellyanne, is running around. That's like McDonald's recognizing that they get hamburgers <laughs> stolen and everybody's saying, oh, it couldn't be the hamburger. <laughs> I think the cocaine probably belongs to the crackhead son of the president because it would require such an unbelievable level of entitlement, as you well know, to take cocaine into the White House, you have to be the kind of person who could drive 172 miles an hour in your Porsche while on crack and have no consequences for that behavior or your failure to pay millions of dollars in taxes or your failure to acknowledge one of your children. This is unacceptable. And I think, Kellyanne, what it ultimately brings home is the cardinal lie of the Biden campaign was, I'll restore normalcy and honesty and truth and decency to the White House. Does anyone, Democrat, Republican, or independent, believe that Joe Biden has delivered on that promise? I think the answer is no. And if he's the nominee, and I don't actually think he's going to be the nominee. Exactly. There's no way that cocaine could have entered into that White House just by an ordinary person. There must be someone of high profile who took that cocaine there and avoiding paying tax on that cocaine. This is quite interesting. I think he stands a great chance to get his ass kicked by Donald Trump or whomever the Republican nominee ends up being because the American public knows Biden can't do this job. He's got dementia, he's not up to it, and he continues to live down to uh, his obligations as the president of the United States. And the polls meet that out. It's so true, Clay. In fact, the ABC News poll showed that Biden is seen as both physically and mentally impaired to actually do the job. So to that point, right. Charlie, and let me just say for the record, I watched President Trump interact with all 10 of his grandchildren, and he's a very loving grandfather. Um, he doesn't say he's got nine. There's all 10. 
But Charlie, I think on the matter of the cocaine, I don't know whose cocaine it was, but I know that there are many ways that we can find out. This is the White yeah. House. I walked through the West Executive entrance thousands of times over four years, easily. And this is, it is, it's swept every day. The Secret Service is on top of it. So I want people to understand the random drug test that we all took, no tolerance. Uh, there's these private tours go on there. There could be children walking around obtaining that. We all have a right to know. This is not the Biden's house. This is the people's house. And that is, an, uh, that is a very famous office building and an important one where the vice president and other um, people in power in our government come through every day. So, Charlie, as a reporter, what do you want to hear next about the origin of that cocaine? Well, I, it would be great to get a straight answer from uh, them. They, they won't even say where it was found. Um, and as you point out, I mean, absolutely nothing goes on anywhere in that building that, that they don't know about. They know exactly where that came from. And if, there's go if they're going to carry on this effort to try to conceal that, I think it uh, just sort of underscores that not only does the Biden administration have the, uh, the, the, the press behind him, but apparently they are utilizing it, and we've seen this in other areas. They're not below this uh, or above this. Uh, the willingness to utilize the, the, the federal government in order to protect them and, and, and enrich themselves. But I honestly believe that part of the administration would rather be talking about Hunter Biden's co or whoever, whosoever it is, uh, the, the, this sort of cocaine, rather than talking about the Biden inflation, talking about the border, talking about Biden's war in Ukraine, and talking about all these other things that, that are making people feel poorer, uh, uh, the, the lawlessness around the country that makes people uh, fear for their lives in their homes and going to the store, um, all of these things that, that, that the Biden administration has no answer to. So they would rather talk about cocaine and his crackhead son. Thank you, Charlie. Clay, last uh, couple seconds here. You teased the audience, so complete your sentence. If Biden's not the nominee for the Democrats, who is? I think it's going to be Gavin Newsom. Uh, I think there's a reason he sat down with Sean Hannity in this very hour uh, a few weeks ago. I think Gavin Newsom is in the wings. They're terrified to put Kamala Harris in because she would be even a worse nominee than Biden. I think Biden would have already announced he wasn't going to run, uh, it, really, Kellyanne, if Kamala Harris wasn't such an unmitigated disaster as his number two. I think Gavin Newsom's going to be the nominee. So make America California. <laughs> that may be a tough sell. Clay, Charlie, thank you so much. Excellent Amen. segment. Thank you. Go, guys. Quite interesting. The White House knows exactly where the cocaine came from, of which the Biden administration, they should tell us, they should tell the people where the cocaine came from. And we just heard that the moment Biden's son was spotted in the White House. That is the time that they were, came about knowing about the cocaine. So the Biden administration need to tell people, they need to come into the limelight and tell us where the cocaine came from, exactly from where. So okay, thank you so much. Let me know your take on this in the comment section. Catch me next for another reaction. Bye.